Hello, Gunner James 105. So in my previous video, I had given a bit of a tour of the the range as it stands so far. And uh, then after that, since it was moving on, I've, I've just come out here after work and uh, by the time I get out and set up and whatever, it was around seven in the evening. And uh, so I did my little tour around, made my video and then decided to sight in a couple rifles. I just started on this one, I set it up on here. Uh, basically, uh, this is a new acquisition. It's pretty cool. And I'll show you why in a minute. This is the one that I've got pretty much bang on now. It's shooting at 50 yards. It's doing a one inch group and that's that uh, Kui Trainer Model 82. And uh, I had shown this in another video. So this one here, it's it's really nice to shoot and it's and it's really darn accurate. So I'd like this to be my gopher gun when I it's got that rear peep sight, which is awesome. But yeah, when I uh, want to grab something to go shoot gophers, I, I like to take this. I have uh, some other cooies with uh, scopes or whatever, and uh, so I'll I'll take. I can I can shoot uh, this one or that one, just kind of move it around a bit. But this one here, this is an oldie, and this is a uh, uh, 22 conversion. So it's what they call a number one Mark IV. So it's kind of rare. There's there's a lot of information on this that I have to provide in a in a video on its own. But as you can see, the sun is not blinding. But yes, it's a 22 caliber. Really nice little gun. So what I had. Uh, brought out so that I would as a side note were these because Gun Geek had uh, done a video on his Russian 22 a steel cased 22 and I knew I had some and uh, if I was trying to recall when I bought them I was guessing around 1972 and then just looking at the label on the side here, it's got a 70. Could that designate 1970? Not sure. Maybe it was, these were out in 70, 1970 and then I bought them in 72, don't know. And it's unfortunate, but I ripped the hell out of the label a long time ago. But what was interesting on these is there is, uh, where are we here? The mosquitoes are attacking me. We have no English writing on anywhere on this package. Matter of fact, there's very little of anything on this package. So, as you can see, that's uh, that's the type of packaging it came. And it, it was probably at some uh, McLeod's or Stedman's or whatever. Some of the, one of the smaller uh, Canadian hardware stores. I don't want to rip my box here. I'm gonna have to be careful. When I open this, but anyways, well, let's just get that the slide out. There we go. So it appears as though one round has been fired, and if I recall, and it may have been the rifle. I don't. I don't think so though. I still the rifles that we were firing forever. I I have. We still own, and um, we would we would get uh, misfires quite often, duds, and uh, I'm not sure if we'd turn them or just chuck them because they're cheap and these here as you can see are shorts but they're a brass case Oop. They're a brass case sorry and uh, yeah so that's my Russian ammo I've only got this one box I don't really want to shoot any of it I means I'm not going to learn anything or gain anything by shooting it I'll just keep it the way it is because it's more of a sentimental thing from my youth I mean, back in in 72, then I was a 13-year-old. So, anyways, this is my old Russian ammo I've had for a long time. Thanks for watching.